Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Morganson and you are watching the North Texas Guitar Licks channel. Uh, today I'm going to review four exotic picks which my students ask me about from time to time. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Uh, the first pick that I would like to talk about is this little awesome Star Trek communicator looking thing by Tone Tech. Okay, solid still. You can see it has a one pointed edge here. Uh, these are cool. They're good for shredding. Um, uh, they're pretty uh, fun. You can play some blues and get some really nice kind of uh, metal on metal sound. And do some sort of neat slide thing. So overall, I think if you're a creative person, there are a lot of things that you could do with this. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve because it is so heavy and thick, uh, but once you get used to it, it, it's pretty cool to play with. You can get a lot of different sounds with it. My biggest complaint or my biggest issue with it is that uh, just recording with it, you get a fair amount of what I call pick chirping, and that is this sound right here and so obviously with metal picks you're going to get that so you can hear that and uh, but live and you know, playing with a band with lots of heavy cymbals and stuff like that you tend to not notice it and so really that's my own issue with it uh, other than that it's pretty cool if you want to spring for it uh, it is a little pricey uh, but they're pretty cool. So that is the Tone Tech Metal Pick. The second pick I would like to talk about is called the Sick Pick, and this is what they call a corkscrew pick. You can see it's twisted there on the end. And this is uh, a D55. They come in three different variants, the uh, 35, 55, and 75 degree angle. Unfortunately, these are out of production as of right now because uh, the inventor, Frank Winstone, uh, Wettstein passed away in early uh, 2017 but I had a chance to talk to his widow and she did sell the uh, patent so hopefully the company that did buy them which I believe is located in New York will be releasing them in a few years if not uh, if you really want one then I have uh, a few extras that I'd be willing to part with so just hit me up in the in the comments and um, I, 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 we can work something out, but uh, for now they're pretty cool. Actually, these are some of my favorite picks because they're really nice. You can get some really good articulation just shredding and playing fast, delicate lines, and uh, so that that applies to all styles: uh, blues, distorted, clean, and all that. Um, really, my only issue. is the same thing with the tone tag is that the plastic is a little hard um, so you end up getting some pick chirping if you are playing more delicate lines uh, again such as so you can hear those uh, those and, and but other than that playing live uh, playing with the band they are covered up it's just a recording that's my only issue. So you got to be really careful and have a delicate technique, uh, which leads me into my next pick, um, which will be the stylus from Berkeley. But again, if you are interested in a few of these, if you cannot find them, hit me up, and I'd be willing to part with a couple of them. So uh, the next pick I'm going to discuss, pick number three, is something called the stylus pick. And as you can see, it has this fairly uh, pointed diamond tip shape at the top there. And this is a trainer pick that was inverted, uh, invented by some guys up at Berkeley College of Music. And uh, really I think it's to help uh, develop the uh, kind of shreddy <laughs> the light and easy technique it takes to play that kind of stuff. And then um, as, as, as well as uh, working on alternate picking. So uh, it's pretty cool. It had the, the PDF it comes with, if you buy the little system, it comes with three picks. 
and a PDF uh, with a bunch of exercises to work on, uh, which have a bunch of different scales, uh, like harmonic minor, and then um, just some issues where it has you working out inside and outside picking issues, uh, if you know what that is. So they're pretty cool. I do recommend them if you if you kind of want to really hone in on your uh, more delicate and lighter picking technique. That is the stylus pick. Uh, from Berkeley College of Music, you can probably just um, uh, Google Stylus guitar pick and find that easily. So the last pick, uh, which I get probably asked about the most, is actually a hardwood, hard rosewood pick. Uh, but any hardwood pick, I imagine, would um, uh, sound kind of what this is going to sound like with a distorted guitar. So. <laughs> Very shreddy kind of pick. I do like it a lot. It feels good. It also feels really good to play bass with. Uh, my biggest issue with these in terms of playing electric guitar is just they, ha they have an extreme amount of, of pick chirping. Uh, so you can hear it. Uh, So again, they're a little difficult to record with, with uh, when you have gobs of distortion like I have on right now. Uh, but overall, they're pretty cool. Harris makes a and, and Talia are the are the brands that I would uh, recommend. So um, pretty neat if you can spring for them and if you're interested in them, I'd say I'd say go for it. They also work well to strum with acoustic. You get a kind of an interesting sound. And so uh, those are the four picks I'm going to review today. If you have any questions about them. Who would like to know anything else or would like me to make some sort of videos playing with them uh, just let me know in the comments or you can hit me up in the messages or something like that um, so I will be doing some reviews for other picks later on like the Jazz 3 variants there's a bunch of them uh, some of the Swiss cheese variants uh, I like to collect picks and plectrums and things like that just to just to have them and give them to students because um, it makes them play different and sometimes uh, we'll uh, let them accomplish what they want to with a little bit of ease. Sometimes it'll make them work harder for it. So there will be more pick reviews coming down the pipe. I will also be reviewing um, theory and harmony books, uh, which I think for, are good for beginners. And then I'll take that um, on through uh, books, which I think are good for seasoned players and also composers. So look for those videos coming soon in the future. And uh, uh, of course, there's going to be lots more backing tracks coming. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Okay, my name is Taylor Morrison, and you've been watching the North Texas Guitar Licks channel. Uh, thanks a lot, and stay tuned. <laughs>